Okay, here we go. Is somebody else in the damn bed? Now nah, I know goddamn well that man wasn't squalls over there in the fucking corner like that. I feel like it's taking everything away from me. Everything. And I feel like I'm in prison in my own body. I do feel like a caged animal. How in the fuck you think that man feel laying over there on this damn side with that portion of bed you give him? Oh, I know goddamn well you ain't about to do. I know goddamn well she ain't. you ain't about to do that. She about to take a piss? Oh no. Is she taking a piss? I know good and goddamn well. Yeah. I... Just something that simple using a restroom. I hope to God you can't get your ass up. She just used I'm she just used her. Body can't get to the damn bathroom, but I bet you make it to the kitchen well. <laughs> I feel sorry for this motherfucker here, man. The first okay. damn thing he got to do when he wake up when I'm is care a bucket of fucking Piss to the damn bathroom! Man, that's disgusting. Your boy, I show. Oh, god damn. Now, lead it down on. The only one I didn't help me. Because I never want that to be my kids' jobs. Is you bringing her that same fucking bucket she just squatted and pissed what? in? That's the same bucket she pissed you know in. I'm done with both of these motherfuckers already. <laughs> that bucket ain't clean. So I can't completely do it. Why the fucking soap at? You standing your ass right now like you wasn't ready to get up. <laughs> it's humiliating. Ooh, you're damn right. When you have to have someone God damn, now. Like, why in the fucking blur it? Now you won't. That'll be the goddamn day of some bitch bent over on all fours. For me to wash and moisturize they ass. Golly. And when you can't do anything for yourself, it's hell. You just won't get it done. This is pure hell. It really is. What kind of fucking neighbor is that? I feel disgusted. Me too. Me three. Shit, just looking at it. How in the fuck you think we feel? And I always feel like... What could I have done different to prevent it? Got away from the fucking table? Look at that shit now. You got to tuck your goddamn stomach. This is what my life is. <sighs> my damn remote. When I was really young. I, I wouldn't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that shit. I don't give a damn. Give a damn about that backstory. <laughs> All these fucking pictures you big in. <laughs> damn. Hurry up with the shit now. Alone because her body couldn't help me anymore. That was my darkest moment. Are you still on this shit? Mama. Look like you're eating this shit. And now, I spend most of my day in this bed, trapped in this room, mm. barely able to function on my own. All because I can't stop eating. Are you happy about that? Really living, so I don't even consider myself to have a life. Because the You're going to need to do more to spray on. Shit. It's hard. The fuck you spraying perfume and for I just to lay your ass down like a rug? I feel like I'm slipping. Oh, we will want that. But Troy takes care of everything. And if he doesn't, it makes me upset, especially when I'm hungry. Because when I crave something, I just have to have it. If you don't get your ass down there and get it, you won't have it. <laughs> Shit. I have a lot of family around. My cousins and their kids are eating out of the house all day. So I always have someone to give me what I want. But when I'm ready to eat, I don't like to eat. So Troy brings my food. 
How many you both the fucking have? Shit. Worry about. Look, 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 look. What the fuck you smelling it for? Your goddamn daughter on the way to you. Quit doing your damn man. Do you need a fucking peach soda? I feel like I shouldn't be at the point where I have to put my children in the same situation that I was in. Yeah, I hear you talking. My mom, she stays there a lot in her room. And it makes me sad because if we could switch places, me having all that weight on me, and she can go out and play, I would be really happy because... Well, you just keep sending your ass in there eating with her. You're happy. <laughs> Shit. Thank you saying so. Look at your, your, your damn sister send her ass right there. She ain't that fucking big yet, but she on the damn waiting list. Damn. Yes, you know. But I always feel like I don't have enough. I hope you bite your goddamn tongue. I don't do anything else. I don't do any other type of drugs or anything else. So I think food is my drug. Oh, I was say. And I can't stop. Look at that shit, though. I need help, and I need it now. Cause I'm knocking on death's door. You got damn right about that. And you still sitting out just putting that shit away like that. Who wants to think about that? I know I have to stop living. Gotta eat that fucking uh, whatever that damn thing is and quit sitting out there nibbling on it like that. I'm you know, just biting on that damn thing, trying to save it. Eat that fucking <laughs> shit. You know your mama gonna eat again. What in the fuck is going on here? I've wanted to get up for a while. So the fact that I'm finally doing this is a big deal for me. Uh, Mom, can you just let it off here? A little nervous. More so ready to, you know, get there, see what he has to say. Yeah. I'll tell you what he's going to say. <laughs> this visit is very important. This is like a make or break situation for me. I've tried other diet things. I've talked to other doctors. This is it. Mm-hmm. Let's have the surgery. Mm-hmm. Let's be happy. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, yeah, should be happy. I'm just trying to prepare myself as well. I'm very anxious. Because the worst fear for me is a no. The no to me is a no to my life. You ought to stop fucking eating. Oh god, she gonna fucking kill this little girl. <laughs> Not the little girl. So I feel like something else has to give. Oh, she ain't doing it. My size oh, I feel bad for opinions, Troy. Away my Troy ain't nobody but Norbert. I, I, I know the <laughs> fuck they ain't got no damn rims on that shit. <laughs> I, I mean, on that van. <laughs> what I tell you about having friends? Go get me another wine cooler. Boy, I know Troy <laughs> thought he was killing them when he put them damn rims on that van. The doctor told me about an hour and a half away from me. And I'm a little worried about the Look at Troy, he ain't even driving the goddamn. <laughs> Quit moving around like that before you been fucking around and made us flip. <laughs> and that I can't handle it. It ain't gonna be long before she wants something to eat. Uh-oh, time to eat. Uh. You know, I'm a ball of emotions right now. You know, I'm thinking about my mom and you know how I lost her due to all of this. So I'm, a lot of things worry me. If it's a no. Look at the way he's no, looking at her. <laughs> Next, you know, so I'm, I'm worried, but trying to stay positive at the same time. Mm. But I know that van be catching here. <laughs> 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 Oh, God damn, I got to see this. Oh, I'm sure what it is. Ton, watch this. Whew. I know that motherfucker broke. Uh, 
that's higher than I thought it would be. What in the fuck you sitting out depressed for? What you think it was gonna say, two? <laughs> you know what the fuck you look like? <laughs> You sitting there with your goddamn hand on your head like you just knew you was a man. What you ain't gonna do is get your ass over here and carry on. So excited. I'm not in the zone. I want you. So you can tell Troy ain't got shit on his mind. Quite a while, huh? It's been a minute, many years. What seems to be your biggest challenge with your diet? Not eating. Sweets. Sodas. Okay, I'm just you, man. I can imagine what the fuck your kid is like while you sitting there bragging about that. <laughs> uh, I have a snack. You know, I like my chocolate. Maybe some chips sometimes. Dinner usually comes 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night. Then I have whatever I'm eating for dinner. Mostly burgers or pizza. And you just ran your ass back in the bed. That stupid song bitch sitting right there beside him. Turn your ass around when I'm talking to you. Troy stupid ass. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him sitting over there at night like he came down. Everybody really does. Look, look, the boy, I tell you the truth. I know a stupid song bitch when I see one. <laughs> Tanisha is going to be an interesting case. At five foot one, her weight is extremely out of control. She is proportionally equal to 700 pounds for someone of more average height. So her body is being pushed to the limit right now. Well, hell, we know that. There ain't no damn doctor. <laughs> she won't live much longer at that point. So how do you see that the surgery is going to change any of this? I feel like it's giving me hope. It's giving me something to look forward to, you know. Getting you can give yourself some fucking hope. That's a pick of speech. Give me hope. It, it, I mean, moderation. You ain't gonna bear this bullshit, Doc, now. We've been doing this a long goddamn time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's got to be me with the other part. Cutting back on the food. What? Mm. That was it, ain't it? <laughs> Why I'm single and she got a man. <laughs> man, don't they get um? Don't um? Big people get like disability checks or something like that. I, that's what I heard. Don't blame me. But most of the people I heard are just with them for the money. So hey, 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 hey. Sparkling eyes bring joy to my mystic heaven forever. Prepare.